Hi, this is Eric. I am the Giant Triker. This is the sitting at home edition of the channel. <laughs> so uh, I decided today I'm going to talk about the equipment I use to record the videos you see. And uh, I get a lot of questions about, hey, what camera do you use? Or how do you record the audio? So I just want to go over that briefly in this video. So first I want to talk about the camera I tried that really didn't end up working out for me. And that's the GoPro Hero, I believe it's a 5, might be a 6, I'm not entirely sure. That's what I'm recording with here right now. I tried attaching it directly to the trike, so I have a um, kind of an extension that goes on the shifter bars, you've probably seen it in my videos. I tried mounting it on there, and I also tried mounting it where the cycling computer would normally go, up near the pedals. Uh, I tried those two things and what I ended up with is either the video was extremely shaky and it was impossible to tell what was going on or when I mounted up where the speedometer goes, a uh, GPS computer, my feet took up most of the shot because <laughs> they were in there pedaling through. So the, Hero, the GoPro Hero was not a great fit for me, at least mounting it directly to the frame. Now you might be able to put that on a selfie stick and hold it and get better results. But one problem I was having was I don't want to have to aim this thing. Okay, so a 360 camera actually ended up making a lot of sense. That's why I ended up getting the Insta360 1R with the 360 degree camera module. <sighs> a little dusty here, but uh, this camera is interesting because the part with the camera lens, there's actually different modules that you can attach to this. You can have the 360 module or you can just do a flat um, 4K module and just get the 180 camera on there, but with higher quality. I opted for the 360 camera and uh, you can swap these out. You know, I, I just have the 360 camera for this. And you'll see it's got a, a lens on both sides of the camera. So it's very easy to uh, deploy, deploy the selfie stick here. And the selfie stick is in the blind spot of the camera. So in your videos uh, that you see, in my videos that you see, the selfie stick is actually kind of invisible. It just disappears because it's where the camera can't see it. And it uses some kind of magic imaging technology to kind of stitch the two halves together and give you a whole 360 degree image. Now in a future video I might show you a little bit about how I take that 360 footage and then generate specific views out of that because that's a little bit more uh, complicated but you can say okay at this point I want it to look in this direction and uh, you can also lock it in and those kinds of things and you can do the cool like 360 degree little planet views and things like that. So this particular camera is a real workhorse. I highly recommend it. Again, it's an Insta360 1R. Now, what I bring along with this, what I found recently is that on a sunny day, the shutter speed is too fast. So you end up with these weird effects like this. It looks like the spokes on the bike are not moving or it's almost like a strobe light effect. But these little ND filters, they snap on. Basically, it's sunglasses for your camera and all that's doing is increasing the shutter time, which then adds a more natural motion blur. Because when you do this with your hands, you know, you see it blur. Well, that's what kind of what these ND, ND filters are introducing into your shots. It's not necessary. Um, it also doubles as a lens guard, which is just a nice to have. But again, I, I got them and they're not that expensive and I thought it was a really nice addition to the 360 camera. I also bring for longer rides, I've got spare batteries for the camera. And this thing in the middle is the charger for it. Hook it up to USB, charge them up. Each battery gives me about 20 minutes of life, so I could record an hour of footage on this thing without having to recharge. 
which is kind of an insane amount. <laughs> Maybe for a longer trip that'll be useful. The other piece I'll occasionally bring is a drone. So you see in some of my videos I've got aerial footage. What I have here is a DJI Mavic Air. This is the first generation of this particular drone and it is uh, about a couple pounds, two, three pounds. Propellers fold out like so and you take the lens cap off and you're ready to go. The controller hooks up to my phone. So this unfolds, I put my phone and attach it to there and then I can control this thing. Uh, I also have for this ND filters for the same reason I have for the other camera. On a sunny day, if the drone's moving fast, you get a blur effect that looks more natural instead of like a choppy, almost strobe effect. But you put your ND filter on this and it looks a lot better. Now, if you're looking for a similar drone today, because the Mavic Air is not, they don't make these anymore, they do make an Air 2. Now the Air 2 is bigger and it does have more features. Uh, it looks really nice and awesome. It does 4K video. This only does 1080p. Um, but you could either get an Air 2 or I believe a comparable model today would be the DJI Mini 2. Would probably have about the same features as this, maybe even better, and is smaller. So they have a lot of different drones and they're all cool. Of course, that's completely optional. The drones are pretty expensive. The 360 camera is not so bad. I'm not gonna quote a price, but you can look it up online. And finally, the last piece of equipment I bring to record with is the digital recorder uh, that I use here is the, it's a Tascam is the brand. Uh, they make, this thing is about 10 years old, so you can probably get something that is smaller and uh, lighter than this today. Um, but it does have audio meters on here. And I'm able to hook up my lav mic here. It's a Rode, I think it is, a Rode, R-O-D-E. The most important thing about this is to get a windscreen. They're like five bucks or whatever. Make sure you get a windscreen because that will block a lot of that wind noise. Um, sometimes I record audio just with the camera if for some reason I don't have this hooked up I'll just use the camera's mic, but then it's you'll notice a lot of wind noise It's really hard to understand what I'm saying But this thing is pretty clear. I do get some wind noise, but overall it's not too bad But again, that's Tascam. This is a digital recorder uh, They're fairly cheap if you want to try something like that out. That's all the equipment that I use for recording my uh, bike trips. Uh, I am looking at potentially adding another uh, drone to my arsenal, but I'll let you know more about that when it actually happens. Also behind me, uh, this is the Uprong that I rode for uh, probably about 10 years. Uh, it was made by Leonard Zen. Uh, I got it powder, powder blue here, so I called it Big Blue. <laughs> it's big and it's blue. But that was my workhorse, it's a steel frame, and I really enjoyed riding it, but I did start having trouble with my back, which is why I switched to the recumbent trike. That's also why I'm not riding today. My back has been hurting pretty bad the last few days, and uh, I'm just taking it easy. So I'm bringing you this video. Now I'm thinking about doing kind of a part two to this video, which will be how I take my raw footage and then edit it. I might do that as a live stream even, which then I can take some questions and, an and do answers during the recording. I'm not sure, we'll see. But uh, taking all the footage and putting it into a cohesive video, uh, that, that does actually take quite a bit of work each week to get that all looking good, but it's worth it. And uh, hopefully I can teach you how to do that. And then when you go to make your videos, you can make them look uh, good or hopefully even better than I do. <laughs> Surpass the teacher. Okay, so that's going to be it for this video this week. If you enjoy the videos on my channel, please forget to like or subscribe. Uh, I have almost 200 people who have not forgotten to subscribe. So if you want to join them, 
then don't forget to subscribe as well. So thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.